61A, lecture number 30, announcements. Please submit revisions to your map project by today if you want back your composition points that you've lost. Homework 9 will be released tonight. It's going to be very short, just long enough to make sure that you're actually watching lecture instead of just working on your project, because it is important to keep up with lecture. This lecture in particular is relevant to one of the problems on the homework. So watch this one before next Thursday so that you can finish the homework. But the main thing you should be working on is the scheme project due a week from Wednesday, but checkpoint one's due next Monday, checkpoint two's due next Thursday, and an early submission point can be earned by submitting the whole thing a week from Tuesday. It's a long project. The first two questions are particularly tough, but you do have a guide. I showed you this in one of the previous lectures, but I'll show you again. In the course textbook, there's a chapter about interpreters for languages with combination, and a nice description of what's going on, as well as the code for a very simple interpreter just for a calculator that uses scheme syntax. This scheme syntax calculator has a scheme read and a read tail function in it. Here's scheme read, here's read tail, that handles most of what you need to do in problems one and two on the project. It handles nil, it handles parentheses. It does not handle quotes or dots. You need to add that. But if you want to get the sense of how scheme read and read tail fit together, especially for those unlocking problems that you should complete when you first get started, take a look at these two functions. Scheme read handles simple cases like numbers and symbols, but when it sees a parenthesis, then it just asks read tail to do all the work. And read tail reads the rest of a list by reading the first thing in the list with scheme read and the rest of the list with read tail until it reaches the closing parenthesis that tells you you're at the end of the list. More information on this topic was in the video on the calculator interpreter last Friday. I hope that helps.